After inheriting the most secure border in American history, the Biden administration ended construction of the wall and canceled policies that had reduced illegal immigration at our border by 90%. They've unleashed the worst border crisis in our history. Also, they capitulated to international bureaucrats rejoining the Paris Climate Accord, planning to rejoin the Iran nuclear deal. They formed a commission to pack the Supreme Court, supporting gun control. They joined the woke chorus accusing law enforcement, agencies across America, of systemic racism. You know, I don't think I can say it better than your senator said it last night. Tim Scott Scott said, said, brave police police officers and and black neighborhoods are are not adversaries, we are family. family. And And let let me join Tim Scott Scott in saying, from my heart, traveling this nation nation coast to coast is your vice president. president. America America is not a racist racist country. Democrats have been so busy advancing their liberal agenda that sometimes I feel like the left hand doesn't know what the far left hand is doing. On top of everything else in the last hundred days, there's been a wholehearted embrace of the radical left's all-encompassing, rapidly escalating war on American traditional values. They abolished the 1776 Commission. They authorized teaching critical race theory in federal agencies and public schools. And they restored Title X funding to Planned Parenthood for America. Even the AOC said the Biden administration, quote, exceeded progressives' expectations. Had enough? I have. I mean, in 2020, 2020, the American people did not vote for that agenda. They did not vote for the agenda of the radical left. And the time has come for freedom-loving Americans to stand up to the far-left agenda of the Biden-Harris administration and say, enough is enough.